hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today i've got some exciting news did you know that south african companies are starting to drop degree requirements for certain jobs yes you've heard me well they are beginning to drop degree requirements for certain jobs this is huge news especially for self-taught developers who have proved time and again that talent and skills matter more matters more than formal education and in this video i'm going to share why this shift is happening how it benefits you as a self-taught developer and the actions or tips that you need to uh, apply in order for you to succeed in this exciting new era let's get on to it so recently, Business Tech reported that several companies in South Africa are removing degree requirements for, for certain roles. The question is why? This is precisely because the tech industry is evolving. It has always been evolving and it's still evolving, especially in South Africa. Although there was a drop, if you look between 2021, 2022 and 2020, up until 2024, there was a, a, a drop uh, but otherwise, overall, there's still a growing trend. Now, this trend is being driven by the shortage of skills uh, or skilled professionals in this field. Uh, skills shortage or professionals in the fields like software development, artificial intelligence, and uh, yeah, maybe cybersecurity as well. Not maybe, definitely cybersecurity as well. So now by dropping this degree requirement, Companies can tap into a, a you know a broader uh, pool of talent and foster more diversity in the workspace. So those who have attended hackathons, you would know that you know you would have people from different backgrounds, and the more diverse you are as a team, the better your product is. I mean that is according to what I have experienced personally. Now. This is exciting news for self-taught developers like you. It means now that, uh, you know, uh, playing field is uh, leveling up and opportunities, opportunities are opening up for people who are passionate and willing to learn, regardless of their academic background. Yes. So some of the most successful people didn't even, didn't even have formal education or formal degrees, as you would name it. So... It means that this is good news and it should encourage and motivate you to continue with what you are doing. Learn and continue to get the right skills that are needed. Get the right, start with the right programming language, the language that, uh, that is used, that is not going to be relevant, that is relevant, relevant to the South African market. Remember, South Africa is South Africa and then the international world, world is an international, is an international world. So what might be uh, too important here in South Africa might not necessarily be what is uh, too important globally, but what is you know, important globally might not necessarily mean that at this point in time that it's, it's, it's important to South Africa. So, um, yeah, let me know what you, what, what you think. Um, I think I would, I would like to do a, a, another video that shows you the programming languages and also possibly the industry that actually um, you know uses that programming language so the demand for programming languages in south africa which ones are needed and which industries are using those uh, programming languages um, i'll do a video on that let me know in the comment section if you'd like to me to expand on that uh, so that you know you can be as informed as you as possible now i would encourage you to continue and uh, you know continue building that wonderful profile or portfolio you know that personal website make sure that it looks pretty make sure that you know you you do your best you know that to-do list app whatever you want to embark on that weather app you know simple things like that start with those and build up uh from there and then the other thing is that you must get certified eh? so i think if you are certified it actually boosts your credibility you know uh, look into affordable, affordable programs like your AWS and then your Google Cloud and your Microsoft certifications. But I would recommend AWS. And for now, I'll not tell you the reasons why, because that will make the video a little bit longer. 
and then um, look into making sure that you are doing what you call uh, whiteboarding this what you call whiteboarding so whereby we are doing uh, coding interviews or inter or coding challenges that are uh, actually adopted by the companies to perform interviews and to test your skill set and your level uh, what level you are on so uh, platforms like uh, lead code hacker rank if you are comfortable enough and you have uh, you're confident that you are things are in order then you can embark on that and then fortunate enough we have that on this channel um if you go to the data, data structures and algorithms we are going through lead code challenges we are going through we are starting with the most common um uh, coding exercises that companies in south africa do uh, like and i'm talking from experience i've i've been an interviewer before and i was also interviewed uh, many many times i mean you can imagine if uh, uh, going for the second decade and how how many interviews I might, uh, I've attended, how many coding interviews I've done. So I've compiled that together in this uh, in, you know channel on this channel and then I've uh, yeah I've, I've I've gone through I've made videos about those. You can just go through them. Uh, they are they are channel, they are in Java, uh, but you can you can use any program, programming language. Just get the problem and then you get the role bowling. And then, yeah, um, that is that is what I wanted to say. Uh, that is all about this video. Uh, just continue. If this video has inspired you, hit that like button and sub subscribe for more tips and insights about succeeding in this tech world. I would love to hear from uh, your journey. Share your story in the comment section. Let me know what's holding what's holding you back, and I'll do my best to help you. And then, yeah, uh, see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.